Hey everyone, this is Darius from The Shot Caller and I'm very honored to be joined by Yamato Cannon from Team Vitality. Congrats on your fourth win out of five games. Thank you very much. It was a sweet win. This is uh, the best game we've ever played so far on stage. I think macro-wise, uh, it was amazing to watch. I think our TP up into the top lane was uh, like it was genius. And uh, that took the game by storm and we kept pressuring them and macro-wise we were on a different level. I think uh, Kabushar's uh, engage was um, in, in the one fight down the mid lane really undervalued until he jumped over the wall to get the final pick on upset was really impressive. Yeah, like that was crazy. Like we kept finding upset in those fights. We found them with Sejuani ultimates, with the Camille, and uh, it worked perfectly because he didn't uh, auto attack uh, once in those fights. Like I'm curious to see his damage done graph uh, in comparison to someone else because he was targeted and it was uh, even with Quicksilver Sash uh, easy to take him down. I think it's a question of people standing in front of him, maybe blocking him, maybe him positioning behind the Cho a bit more. But uh, all in all, like the Camille ults and the Sejuani ultimates in the team fights definitely were on point. You almost have to feel sorry for the guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Like um, uh, in this case, you know, in this game, I, I gave them Kalista, which was a mistake because usually how people draft uh, on blue side is that they uh, set up for a mid lane pick. And uh, Kalista has been something banned on blue side, and I just didn't expect them to ban what they banned because I don't think the bans mattered. And it needed, needed it ours in the end because we let Kalista open, and uh, Kogma, Kaelin ban don't really make uh, an impact then. And even after that, uh, uh, Kalis, giving them Kalista, uh, my boys really pulled through, and uh, they did uh, a lot of heavy duty work today. Really proud of your boys, of course. Of course, of course. Now, before the, the season actually started, you completely revamped the roster with the exception of Kabusha. Um, was it hard to find those specific players? Because they had been playing together for a while, so uh, I guess that must have been a bit easier. But why go for them specifically rather than other talents that were available, for example? So my reasoning, I'm going to start with just a reason as to why I kept Kabusha, like his reputation. Mm -hmm. Uh, has been, oh, he just needs resources and all this crap. And I think that's uh, bullshit. I think uh, Kabashar is a player. He is uh, calm all the time. He's very, like, he has two feet on the ground throughout. He has, uh, he's a voice of reason in the team. And uh, working together with him is very, very easy. He ha can play any champion up top lane. He can play any meta. He can play tank. He can play whatever. So he's a very well-rounded player. And he doesn't mix any emotions into it. And... Uh, for me, that's uh, a perfect type of veteran, a person that has learned from past things and from past situations and has continued to grow into a fully pledged professional. So Kabushard is uh, the true meaning of veteran. Uh, for the other four players, uh, you know, when I look at players, I want to have hungry, motivated, talented players. It's uh, looking at these players and what um, they achieved in the last year uh, was amazing, not only because of the results, mm -hmm. but also because of their growth curve. They continued to um, become better and better. Jizuke and Mini Trupax became better and better. Jactrol Im improved immensely, while Gilius was the leader that these uh, young players at the time needed. And uh, Gilius uh, was a shot caller, and uh, communication is something that uh, I undervalued in the past. I just uh, thought that I will get five talented players together and if they're good at the game, it will work. Mm -hmm. But um, of course, this is about uh, trying to achieve a perfect condition. A perfect condition is that everyone knows what they're supposed to do, then no one needs to talk. But you need to bridge those gaps because you don't have a perfect player with communication. And um, in the beginning, uh, we had some uh, communication things we had to sort out, but it was very, very easy because, as I said, these four guys are hungry, motivated, and at the same time, they played together in the past. And a lot of these players, or everyone pretty much, they are not afraid of making those shot-calling mistakes as uh, some people are afraid to do. And those are the mistakes they do in scrims, and then they learn, they learn, they learn, they get better. And uh, I think the beauty of these, this combination that we have here is that uh, I can give them confidence through preparation and they, have, they came in with the confidence of heart. I believe in two types of confidence. I think uh, there is competence and also where your mind is. And these guys are hungry. And uh, the better the player they play against, the better they play because they just see the prize and that motivates them. And 
I just remind them every single day uh, of this and we put in as much effort as we can into practice and uh, we're building a, a very strong routine. So for me, when it comes to players, what I need is uh, understanding the effect of emotions. I want them to be set aside. I want to be in a position where I can say this is not good for the team. And then period, we move on because they can see we need to move past this to, mm -hmm. uh, of course, achieve greatness. And uh, we're in a position where everyone is so hungry and motivated, so they will do anything just to get better. And uh, uh, that is the story of our team right now. We are working really, really hard. And even if we are 4-1 or if we were 5-0 now, it doesn't matter. The result doesn't matter. You know, it's good to win. It feels good to win. But at the end of the day, all these guys want to do is to achieve greatness. And that we do through improving every single day, making sure that every single moment counts. Because in the end, this is a race. We have a good start and we are not getting... Uh, uh, like we're not feeling safe at all. We are just striving to become more and more because we want to beat the best of the best. And you've already done that to an extent. Now you do have that head start. You said that you're not going to be lazy. Uh, you've mentioned mentality is a huge factor. Now, one of you, the players, potentially one of the more important ones, because you've mentioned him being the primary shot caller, Gilius, has had a reputation that was questionable at times. I got to talk to him personally and didn't get that impression whatsoever. Have you changed his mindset in some ways? Is he properly reformed, maybe? No, this Gilius, he's a wonderful asset to have in a mm -hmm. team. If people uh, understand him, then you know you can all of a sudden see what kind of power he has over a group because we have to keep in mind that when you are working together with we are six people seven people uh, uh, with our analyst mm. uh, and of course our manager makes us eight people we are a dynamic right and the dynamic needs to be healthy and the atmosphere needs to be good and what Gilius does he has this power to just motivate everybody he is so hungry and so determined and so confident that it spreads it spreads to everyone around him. If you are in the same room and you understand Gilius, you become confident. You all of a sudden have this drive because Gilius, he works freaking hard. He can take criticism and he will take it and he will make the most out of it. And already in these weeks that we work together, which uh, I guess it's, uh, what, what is it? Uh, I think seven weeks, seven, six weeks. He has done enormous strides. Uh, we have all, uh, as a group and individuals, improved so much. And uh, I see no point in us um, slowing down at all. And Gilius is a wonderful asset for a team to have. Nothing but praise. That's nice to hear. And again, I, you know, I've got to talk to him personally. And I did get the same impression. I was actually very surprised for me personally, you know, only seeing Gilius from a distance, which probably the viewer would, um, would be in the same case, and then getting to meet him in person is a very different figure at times. Very interesting, for sure. Jizuka, right now, is tearing up the ULs, yes. How? <laughs> how is he so insane? And how was he not picked up beforehand? How did it take so long for him to get recognized? Jizuka... As a player, he um, the, the strength that he has is that he applies thought process to every single thing he does. Every single thing. If I ask Jizuke, why did you do this and this? He doesn't hesitate to answer because of this and this and this. Sometimes when you ask player, oh, I don't know, I was maybe thinking this. I don't remember what I was thinking. But he has a f very clear line of thought process all the time. And that is what... I, as a coach, you know, we meditate, we do other preparation in, in terms of being mindful and being centered and focused. That's what I want from a player, always evaluating the situation, planning ahead, and always being in the zone, so to speak. That is what Jizuki is. He always, always, when I ask him, why did you do this and this, he can give me a clear, elaborate answer on what does this mean. He is mindful and he also, all the time, carefully plans out what is supposed to happen. And on top of that, his execution is sublime because mechanically, this guy, he's wonderful. His Zoe is beyond yeah. words. His rise as well, it's fantastic to watch yeah. for sure. Good luck banning him out. <laughs> yeah. so, so, but like, you do have to ask the question, how, how did he not get picked up beforehand? How did he get unrecognized for such a long time? Well, I think uh, a lot of organizations and a lot of uh, coaches they just want to have, um, you know, they come into the off season. They just want to take the name that they recognize, and they think that 
that gives them some kind of comfort. Mm -hmm. But in the end, it doesn't. It really doesn't. I think management uh, matters a great deal. I feel like I have a great responsibility on my hands uh, with whatever players I have. And this, of course, matters too when it comes to working with players. But uh, in this case, as long as a player is hungry and motivated and is willing to give 100% all the time, I think you can become anything that you want. And right now we are the embodiment of that. And uh, I saw instantly, you know, from talking to the players when I was in the off and talking to the players, then sharing the story with me and they, them, them just talking, I knew they have the thing that makes them into champions. Do you think that other top tier organizations have been lazy to an extent in comparison to teams like Vitality, in comparison to, to teams like Giants, Rocket, who have now been stepping up big time? Like, I couldn't care less what they did in the off season. It really doesn't matter to me. I, I don't have an opinion. I only focus on what Vitality did. I did a lot of research. I talked with a lot of players and I was giving 100% in terms of preparation uh, for the off season because the off season w would be very difficult. We knew that 100% and I couldn't care less about other organizations. I, I, I don't know. Uh, when I said that specifically, it's just speculation about uh, uh, going for the safety. Oh, this player was successful here and here. Uh, that could mean something, but sometimes it doesn't mean anything at all. Mm. I think when you look at some specific players, it applies. If you say, for example, Perks and Reckless and Soas, these are players that have tenure. They have been around for a very long time and they are still championship level players. And these are players that you can always put a safe bet on. But all the other players, you know, it could be one year and, you know, the reason for why the esports life for a player is so short sometimes, or the average is, is because the fire and the drive can die out. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, young players, when they come into the scene and they make a huge splash in it, it's because they love the game. And then when it, all of a sudden it turns into work, it becomes something different. You start to play CSGO in your off time, you try to start playing Fortnite. You know, I, saw, I saw players from North America tweeting, oh, who plays Fortnite at this IGN? I'm like, you are in LCS. Are you actually playing Fortnite? And I'm thinking to myself, okay, uh, you know, there are players that um, lose that drive, lose that motivation, and uh, d they don't learn how to become professionals. And uh, I think this is what matters in the end. To be honest, I completely forgot your question. It was uh, about organizations being lazy. No, I, I couldn't give a damn about all the organizations. I am vitality as it is right now. And it has worked out very well for you guys so far. Now, is there anything you would like to say to the plenty of Vitality fans out there? Um, I would like to say uh, thank you guys for supporting us uh, from every part of Europe. It's amazing to see comments in Italian, Portuguese, even Spanish sometimes, and Polish, French, Swedish. English is the easiest one, but uh, God bless the translation function on Twitter. Uh, I would like to thank you all for the support and um, keep on supporting us. Uh, great things will come. This is just the beginning. We will not slow down. This doesn't matter at all when it comes to our process. We are going to give 110% every single day. And uh, I would also like to give a big shout out to our sponsors and Vitality for taking good care of us. I would like to also shout out to um, our owners and of course uh, my family at home, my mother, my father, my brother for always supporting me, sending me WhatsApp messages. Sometimes I don't answer it because I'm busy. Maybe it's an excuse, but you know how it is. I, I love all of you. This was Yamato Cannon and Darius from the Shotgall. I hope you get a good day. See you then.